And I'm Tim Miller and I'm working at Ebury, managing a programme of support for small businesses across, broadly speaking, the West Midlands area. And uh, this is to help them make the most use of the opportunities associated with bioenergy and also energy systems. So we're looking to work with lots of different sorts of companies and companies that can provide lots of different types of waste or residues or different services. My name is David Thompson from AgriPellets um, and we process agricultural residues, primarily straw and miscanthus grown in the uh, West Midlands area, into pellets. Um, we've historically uh, supplied those pellets to power generation and uh, commercial heat. We're soil scientists, we're microbiologists, we're waste people. We're pretty clued upon the biological bits but we're not very clued upon the thermochemical route so we think that's a better route for what we've got so we're just trying to explore that more. So the programme also includes uh, testing of samples so businesses can uh, bring feedstock to us and they can look to see what that feedstock is comprised of chemically, um, how that will work with various sorts of plant and equipment, um, the sort of fuels that that will produce and then the sort of outputs they can get in terms of energy or perhaps other products associated with their particular processes. We're Biofuel Evolution, my name is Viral Patel and this is my business partner Jamesh Patel and uh, we're hoping to execute with EBRI and Ashley University the conversion of food waste into bioethanol. I'm Peter Francis, I run Midland Automation Technology. Uh, we are involved with the designing and building control systems for process plant. Uh, we're here today for the purposes of uh, supporting concertive engineering in Sedgley and for Syntec Bioenergy who we're working with at the moment. Uh, building a new gasification plant in Wensbury. So Aston University has been working in this field since the 1970s and has been very successful in doing research but more recently what we've been doing is pulling together different disciplines from across the university which enable us to bring in experts from the business school, from transport logistics, uh, from life sciences, power engineering so that we can look at all of the different opportunities and we're able to introduce the companies and the academics so that they can work on real projects together and get a real result. We're here today to um, explore other potential products we can develop from these um, agricultural residues and uh, meet some people and learn more about uh, the processes that Ebri has uh, developed. Our particular interest um, extends now to actually growing miscanthus, an energy crop, um, for supply to power stations and also on the back of today's session um, developing feedstocks for other uses from plants. Here is an opportunity that's waiting to be exploited and I'm hoping that here in Aston with the pyrolysis system that they've got going and all the focus on sustainability that we can get something moving for our area because we need it here. So the pilot plant uh, gives companies the opportunity to see some of this work in practice. They can actually look at something which is working at an industry scale and at a scale which is able to power this building and also part of the university campus. And that brings in other areas of opportunity, for example electric vehicles, uh, feed into the district energy scheme for Birmingham which feeds a lot of the city. They can look at the sorts of equipment which is used within this sort of plant uh, and how it can be deployed and work out how they can actually take a part in this industry. When this master classes started a couple of years ago, I was here and I attended them. And uh, this time I'm back again to learn more and be more systematic. We'll look at the way people in third world countries prepare their food, the way they have access to energy, clean water, and also uh, hospital equipment. My biggest problem was where do I take this project that I have and how do I improve it or take it to the market? So the industry is, is quite fragmented. So one of the things that we're working on is creating a map of how all of these uh, different players in the marketplace could work together. And this is early days for this, but uh, we're very interested in working with companies that we can model and how they could make best value out of what they can offer. We're hoping to go away with uh, quite a lot of uh, business contacts and some ideas about some process benefits that we can introduce into the projects. I just want to say thank you to you, Gary, for um, helping us out. Definitely for this opportunity. And uh, yeah. hopefully it'll be something in the future for us to keep on going with them in terms of partnership-wise. I have good results and I think uh, we have a plan where we can uh, come together and uh, take that development life. 
we've got somewhere centrally that we can come to for advice, for links, to take a small idea and make something of it that would be helpful to local areas and with the experience gained, we can use it elsewhere.